After more footage from one of the only parts of Fantasia anyone remembers, we get a song over images of flowers. There's also dancers dressed as a giant flower on stage. See? Flower imagery? Sex dream. Then suddenly we get neon jungle animals? Okay, so it's an awesome sex dream! Here's where we get the first major difference between the coasts. Here in California, we get a generic jungle score as the neon monkeys float by, including King Louie. There's also a giant con stage who forgot to turn off his high beams. Then that segues into the original Disney Bizarre Dream sequence. Pink elephants on parade on a pretty kick-ass electric guitar arrangement. Nothing says staying late at a park that doesn't serve alcohol like a drunken hallucination. Back at dirt. Well, we get Lion King music with the weird neon monkeys and other cardboard cutout neon animals on stage. What exactly was Mickey smoking when he had this dream? And hey, Rafiki shows up to do what he does best. Contribute nothing. My work here is done. And we don't have the full Pink Elephant sequence, but they make an appearance in the midst of plenty of other recycled animation. Yes, bubbles float by containing scenes from, oh, every Disney animated movie, but with special attention paid to The Lion King, Beauty and the Beast, and The Little Mermaid. You know, the three movies that already have their own shows at Disney World, two of which are in this very park. One of which is right next door. You have a lot of sequences like this because when they built your precious amphitheater, they figured they had to make the show longer to justify it. Because, after all, everything has to be bigger in Florida. So what the hell's your excuse? Well, back in the original park, after Pink Elephants, we have Pinocchio and two can-can marionettes on stage, as the music alternates between I Got No Strings and Little Wooden Head. And the strings alternate between being on Pinocchio and on the girls, and the strings are on Pinocchio while Got No Strings is playing because... irony. Then there's the angelfish doing a weirdly tender dance, probably trying to seduce Jiminy because that's what fish do. And this is where both dreams catch up to each other as Mickey dreams about drowning a cricket. And then we're back to recycled animation as Monstro attacks. He splashes, and the audience gets splashed. Then Mickey starts drowning, and the audience doesn't. <laughs> so much for full immersion. But it's nice that Mickey decided to finally show up in his own dream again. <coughs> See, this is why amateur waterbending should only be done under strict supervision. Then we get Mickey's eyes, an animation that may or may not be recycled, but was certainly cheap and easy. Hey, what's going on? Uh-oh. A fucking pirate ship! That's see what's going on! 